quite the connection he's had. You could kind of hear it, but huh, a lot of the same results he's been having, and most likely a lot of the same end results we're going to see here in a moment. Yes, it wasn't golden. He might say it was silver, though. It'll do. Let's say, <laughs> yeah. I mean, look at the way these connect again, and that's part of this package. I mean, he's made some great openers, but look at the two, the three, stop shot on the four, fives there, six on the side. So really the two ball looks to be the toughest. And if you're an aspiring pool player, you can certainly learn something from this guy on the stroke. Letting up there keeps that hand moving. Most of his wins in this championship have been hard fought. He's come through a couple of hill hill battles. This afternoon he beat Mohamed Sufi 11 8. He did beat Albin Aushan very convincingly 9 3. you have to say in terms of pure quality of performance this the best we've seen from Johan Schuer so far in the championship yeah, absolutely I don't really remember many matches I've seen better from any player in the championship Both the ball is great besides the triple combination he went for with the huge lead at nine to one do you remember a miss I'm trying to think maybe one well, he missed the nine oh, ball, the nine ball the in the game. first yeah, rack to the right. middle pocket. That's right. <laughs> Looks like being Sayonara. Goodbye. Adios yes. to the Spanish Open champion. Said he just went on a flyer on him, really. Yeah, got a little awkward here. He's got to make a decision. Do I pinch it? Do I stun it to the rail? You don't want to, if you stun, just stay away from the left. You don't need a lot of left spin. That one could cause a miss. He's going to stun a little bit. I think he's still going to keep it up the left side rail. Oh no, he's done the cross. And he is one happy man. As he should be. And hats off to Dang Jin Yu on a heck of a tournament. I mean, this one didn't go his way, but you could tell he was still fighting. It just wasn't to be. Yohan Chua wins the match. Yohan Chua 11 racks to dominates, three. Dominates, defeats Dang Jin Hu by 11 racks to three. He said earlier that he was born and raised in poverty. Now he's got 50,000 US dollars in the skyrocket and maybe even more will be coming his way. Certainly if he performs like that, he could hit the jackpot. What a performance. Next up, it's Viktor Zelinski against Wojciech Shevchik on this table. And when they start, Jeremy and I will be back to call the shots. <laughs> 